So I've been working on taking apart this 420 for parts. Um, and I found a couple interesting things. Uh, one of which we knew this was a replacement engine. Um, this is the drive shaft that we'll do a uh, project on later. Um, looking at the U joints in the drive shaft. Um, so we'll work on that uh, here in a little bit. Now, what I'm one of the reasons I'm doing this video is this is a P220. Um, if you look down here, see it's P220G. Uh, but this is a B series drive shaft. Uh, the B series uh, Deers, uh, the B series Onans uh, were um, longer, the flywheels were longer than the P series. So, with this being a B series um, drive shaft, uh, this is not something that you commonly see. Is this right here? This is the drive shaft adapter. Um, and what I'm going to do, <clears throat> because these are relatively relatively rare, uh, I'm going to keep it, and I think this is a project that we can do in the lathe. At least turn down the turn down the, the dimensions itself, and then it'll boil down to uh, making sure that we can do the milling for the holes. Um, you know, may have to contract that out or something along those lines but I could at least get the discs done um, but this is basically this is for um, this is not very common um, but it is the the, the adapter from a B series to a P series um, so just kind of something that kind of interesting uh, that I didn't expect I figured that they had just replaced the drive shaft when they uh, replaced the engine that's what they oftentimes did um, but then we'll get in there and uh, you can see some of the play or wear in the drive shaft itself. Um, so we'll get the U joint replaced. I think that's what we're gonna. I think that's what my plan is. Um, we'll also go ahead because if you look at this, that the wobble uh, on the shaft was long, it wobbled on the shaft long enough that there is some some. Uh, wear on this shaft right here. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to take this pump right here apart um, because honestly the pump is fine but that shaft is worn out. Uh, so we're going to take that pump apart and explore the in innards of the pump itself uh, and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is in the next part of the video I'm going to do some of the Onan parts um, looking through the specs and stuff. All right, so this is the CTM2 or Component Technical Manual 2, uh, which is for the Onan engines. And what we're looking at is we're going to look at measuring the valve stems. The reason I'm doing this is I wanted to show a couple of things. One, B series engines have larger valve stems, and two, valve stems generally do not wear a lot. Um, and I'll go over that here in just a minute. But if you look up here, uh, like I said, this is CTM2. Uh, one of the great things about a uh, technical manual um, is it gives you all this stuff. So B43E, B43G, B48G, and T260. The T260 was in front mount mowers. Um, exhaust valve, so they give it to you in millimeters because uh, we have to remember back to the time when these manuals were released. The U.S. did, um, was there was a big push to move to metric uh, back in the 90s. Uh, late 80s, early 90s, and if you look, the date of this particular manual is 3 of 87. Um, <clears throat> so, if you look, the exhaust valve, um, new parts, 0.341 and 0.3414, uh, or in the wear tolerance is 0 0.340. Um, that means that you have uh, thousands that you can wear um, on those valves. Intake valves, intake valve is a little bit smaller, uh, or a little bit larger than the exhaust valve. I have no earthly idea why, other than typically the uh, heads of the valves are larger on the intake valve uh, compared to the exhaust valve. The specs we're interested in, the P218 and P220, they're exactly the same. The exhaust valve intake, the exhaust is, 27 or 0.278 to 0.2785 and the intake is 0.2795 to 0.2800 So let's see where we're at with some valves that I have 
Uh, these came out of an engine. Um, I want to say this engine had about 900 hours on it. So I've got a micrometer here, and it's just a Mitsutoyo uh, mic. And we're going to... I chose the one with the analog scale. Um, that way you can kind of see it. Unfortunately, this is difficult to do and look through a camera screen at the same time. All right. So it is 0 0.279 or 0.278... Six point two seven eight six for our intake valve. And if you look back at our manual, <clears throat> intake valves point two seven nine five to point two seven or point two eight zero zero. Wear tolerance is point two seven eight three. Uh, we said we said what point two seven eight six. So it is still a good valve, um, at least on the intake side. Does have some wear on it, as you can see, it does have some wear on it, uh, but you can't really feel any of it, um, so to speak. Maybe right there on the edge, but not not anything um, too bad. So now let's look at the exhaust valve. Point two seven eight or point two seven seven one point two seven seven one mm, I don't think that's right. I did these earlier off camera and they all came in spec. I measured it with my other mic. I measured with this one and the other mic, the one that I prefer. I don't like the, I don't like the tension mechanism on this. Uh, it doesn't, I don't know. I've always found this one difficult to use. It's nice to have that analog screen there, the numbers there, so you can see what I'm looking at. But earlier I came up with 0 0.2780, which that looks pretty daggum close to 0 0.2780. Um, I came up with 2.2780 with both uh, two mics and a digital caliper just for good measure. 0.2780 right at the bottom of new spec. Um, even if it was 0.27, you know, seven something, uh, we're still pretty good. We're in the, when the, within the wear tolerance. Um, but anyway, if you're going to rebuild Onan engines, um, you know, I think I picked this up off eBay many years ago uh, for like 50 bucks. Um, you only, to rebuild these engines, you only need a zero to one and a one to two mic to rebuild these engines. Uh, because two inches is the largest diameter, which is would be on the, and I'm strictly speaking of the Onan P218, P220, and B43, and B48 engines. Uh, the largest diameter that you're probably gonna ever need to worry about on these engine is, is going to be the main bearing journals, which uh, new spec on those is 0 0.2000 inches. So just by having two mics and a digital caliber makes your, your life a whole lot easier. Uh, certainly something that I would encourage anybody that wants to do this kind of stuff, uh, invest in. Um, just because, you know, you're going to use these tools a lot. Um, or at least I use them a lot <clears throat> or, and they're so much more helpful than trying to do it with just a, a caliper or trying to, you know, save yourself a lot of money going to machine shop and stuff like that. They're not that hard to use. If you, if you get the ones with the number, with the analog numbers on it, you know, that's really nice. Or, you know, just get the traditional ones. There's lots of videos out there that show you how to, to read one. Um, cause that's probably still something that I struggle with a lot. Uh, in terms of reading a mic and things like that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get back to working on this uh, 420. If you see it over here. And uh, those valves are not out of that engine. It's just something that I wanted to show that I was working on earlier today. I'm um, getting ready to try to decide which engine I want to rebuild out of all these 318s that I bought. Um, but 
anyway, uh, I'm going to work on this. If you're interested in parts, let me know. Had a number of folks drop me emails interested in parts and I mail, email them back and I never hear anything. So, um, you know, I'm going to continue selling parts. So just because you email me and say you want something doesn't mean necessarily your name's on it. Um, but for everybody that has bought parts, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, certainly helps uh, move stuff, move projects like this along <clears throat> and allows more projects to come into the shop. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. Well, got it all, got the rear end out of the 420 here. And this is, this is why uh, it's going apart. Um, there is that piece out of the frame. There's no way, um, I don't, at least in my opinion, and it looks like it's been repaired before, um, based on, there's some heat marks right there. So I'm guessing somebody tried to repair it before and then um, it didn't work. So that's it for this 420. Um, got a couple more parts to grab off of it. Uh, but um, that's why uh, when you uh, buy a project, things like that happen. Now, keep in mind that some of the parts I've taken off this machine are junk, complete junk, can't sell them. Um, so, you know, it's one of those, it's like this wheel up here, or this pulley, you know, can't, I can't do anything with that. So, um, I really like when guys get on Facebook and stuff and they'll start talking about, well, I can buy it cheap enough and then I'll just part it out if I can't fix it. That's a terrible idea. Um, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, uh, just not something you want to do. But anyway, I'm going to clean all this mess up and because I have sufficiently made a mess in the shop and uh, I'm going to call it a night. So uh, that's the end of this video and uh, onward and upward to bigger and better things.